I decided that I would take my portfolio and go hunt for a job. I said, I'll go to the Board of Education. Maybe I'll start teaching. Well, to, I guess it was 1949. Mm -hmm. It opened up and I was ended up in Waller. Mm -hmm. I loved Waller. I, it was a melting pot, you know, wonderful kids. It, it just a, were really a wonderful situation. So I had a very good feeling about the city. But, you know, I had some extra time. That during the time that Korean vets were coming back, Heinz Veterans Hospital was pleading for people to come help. I said, sure. So I said, where's your art department? Art department? I said, yes, what do these convalescing soldiers do to keep their minds off of their wounds, their injuries? I'll set up a department. So they set up a physiotherapy, art physiotherapy department, and I had paraplegics, quadriplegics, and I worked with them for a couple of years. And that to me brought me pleasure. I saw some of these people just become alive again. I guess I was at Zen about 30 years. We had the clubs, the marvelous clubs. We had the aristocrats that took us to everything. We did it, you name it. We we chartered buses, we went. I mean, the kids were great. You could trust them, you know. Yeah. I did the mural in 1987. I, I did a 12-foot um, high sculpture, which is in the lunchroom. And then after that, I did the mural. The kids wanted to give the school a gift, like they usually give the gift each mm -hmm. year. They said, Elston, here we are standing on this ramp, waiting to get into the lunchroom. And we're looking at that big, ugly wall. Why don't you paint a mural there so we can look at something pretty while we're waiting to get into the lunchroom? So that's why I did the mural. There was talk about uh, an invitation for the community to be involved in the decorating of the underpasses. I say, oh wow, that's good. So the invitation was to all levels of people, kids, adults, artists, anybody who wants to come in. When I submitted a whole pack of uh, ideas that were scanned, and some of the ideas were used, everybody got involved. And I was there <clears throat> three years. There's Bryn Mawr, then the Foster, and then Belmont. We had uh, <clears throat> uh, approximately 20 so-called at-risk kids that worked with us. I love the community. <laughs> and that these underpasses are so drab. So I think that this Bryn Mawr it was, it was just uh, heavenly to, you know, express the things that we enjoy in the area. I love people, particularly the teenagers. And so working with these 20 kids, I, mean, I was at home. <laughs> I enjoyed it. And every year we give four scholarships or five. I meet with those kids. I meet with every year that you can name. We had, really, I just was I thrilled at the thought that they succeeded. So wherever I went, you know, I had them on my mind. For me, it's a pleasure to see the successes of my former students. I, I love my kids. Kids love me. And we still get together. That's the world to be. And I said to my sister, I may be as poor as a church mother, but you don't have what I have.